I'm here to show you the installation of the iTroll Neutral Safety Interface. A little background on how boat starting systems work. Starting voltage flows from the key when you turn it to the shifter. Inside the shifter is a switch. If the shifter is in gear, it blocks that signal so the motor will not start. If the shifter is in neutral, the signal is passed through to the motor where the motor will start. We've taken the shifter out of this boat so you can see these two wires as they come out of the shifter assembly. Now notice that the starting wires on this boat, and it's typical in most, are yellow with a red stripe. However, there is exceptions. If you, especially with Yamaha and some Suzuki's, we've seen brown wires for the starting signal. If you happen to have an all-in-one shifter where the key is also in the shifter mechanism, it is possible to install the neutral safety interface. So loosening these three screws allows us to take the back off of the shifter assembly so we can see the insides. This brown wire tested to be the start output from the key. So it's very simple to trace it back. It goes down into this side of the blue connector where it goes out and goes to this side of the actual neutral safety switch. So there's a plunger on these switches and when the shifter gets put into neutral it depresses the plunger. The signal then exits the neutral safety switch if the plunger is in and goes out to the motor. So if we unplug these two wires from the actual neutral safety switch we get the four wires that we need to hook, hook up the interface. So unplugging this wire, that's your key side. Unplugging this wire, that's your motor side. Then you have the two terminals input and output from the switch itself. Now of course there's no room inside of this to put the actual interface. So you have to run the wires in and then mount the interface outside of this box. So this is pretty simple, simply because everything is in one spot. Now I'll go back to the boat. What we need to do is to find each one of these four points of this system by doing some basic electrical tests. So we were able to access these wires on this particular boat by taking the speaker out. Of course, we've put the shifter back in. And for this test, as far as tools, you'll need a multimeter or a light tester where one side is hooked to ground and the other side is hooked to your test mechanism. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find the motor side of this. So we're going to put the shifter in neutral and we're simply going to grab a wire and we're going to test how it behaves electrically. Now, word of caution with this, the engine will crank over. I, don't, I have the lanyard um, safety switch on so it'll crank but not start. But make sure no one is near the prop because when we do this test in gear, the prop will spin. So what we're looking for is if this wire has voltage when we actually crank the motor. And it does. Don't know if you saw the meter. Now we're going to repeat that test with the shifter in gear. And notice we still have voltage. So what that's indicating is that this is the key side. So let's loop this wire up here, keep it aside, and test the other one. If you notice, when I turn the key, this wire is dead. So because the shifter's in gear, it's blocking the signal going backwards. So this is our motor side of this. Now reconfirming the test to make sure this is the key side. 
that we have voltage, we're not starting because the shifter has blocked the voltage from going back. But this is definitely the key side of the shifter. Remember that on the shifter there were two wires going in and out of it. So now we identify these two loops. So voltage flows from the key into the shifter, back out from the shifter, and then to the motor. So the neutral safety interface needs to know each point in the system. So further electrical tests are required. So I have the motor wire that we tagged earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Now some boats connect all these wires together with bullet connectors and you could simply unplug that. But this isn't the case. So what we're going to do is find the motor wire. So notice the shifter's in neutral. So the motor wire should get voltage, but we've cut it. So we want to find the shifter wire that goes to, that went goes to the motor side of this whole equation. It should get voltage when we crank the key. And there we are. Notice the motor doesn't start because we've cut that wire. So this is the shifter wire that was on the motor side of this whole thing. Okay, we're going to test the other wire, which is the key wire, because we need to find the wire from the key as opposed, after we cut it, the, the wire that goes to the shifter. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to test what's hopefully key voltage here because it's live all the time when you crank it. And there you are. This is definitely the key wire. So we'll take this wire as a shifter wire on that was on the key side. So there, now we know each point of this system. We know the key, we knew what was the input to the shifter, we knew the output from the shifter, and, and we know the motor side. So I'm gonna put some connectors on this and I'll be right back. I've just put bullet connectors on the four wires that we found earlier, but you can use um, spade connectors or any other type of attachment method that you're comfortable with. So let's test the system. Let's find the key wire. And if you notice on the bullet connector from the key wire, I use the one that has a lot of insulation. That way, if this wire is ever loose, it's impossible to short it. Then I mated it with the shifter key wire. Of course, that has the bullet connector that's exposed, but that doesn't get voltage unless it's plugged in. Same thing for the backside the shifter motor side wire, because it has voltage flowing through, I put the insulated connector on, which plugs into the motor. Shifter neutral, motor crank. Shifter in gear, no motor crank. So the next step is to hook these four wires to the actual neutral safety interface. It's somewhere in this boat. Okay, so we have on the neutral safety interface is four wires. So the red wire of the interface goes to the key wire. Notice I conveniently put matching bullet connectors on this. The yellow wire of the interface goes to the motor wire.
now what we have is we just have the two wires from the shifter. So the black wire of the interface goes to one of the wires in the shifter and then this wire gets grounded, the other wire from the shifter. So let me put in a ground wire, I'll be right back. So now I've just put bullet connectors on the remaining ground wire and the black wire for the neutral safety interface. Just be careful, a lot of people don't put the insulator on before they crimp the terminal on, then they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. Now it doesn't matter which terminal I put on each end of these, because the shifter is has no polarity. So we're gonna plug, this is the ground wire, into one of the motors from the shifter, and the black wire, the interface, into the other. Shifter in gear, turn the key, no crank of the motor, put it in neutral, and the motor cranks. We only have one wire that's now accounted for, and that's this blue wire from the actual interface. Well, this is how the ITRO gets a signal. This is a signal wire. And it gets hooked to the power module. So here's a power module. And in, off the power module are, are a bunch of little auxiliary wires. So there's three twisted here, a brown, a, a yellow, and a blue. That's the yellow and the blue are for neutral safety interfaces. So if this neutral safety interface is for motor one, you connect blue to blue. If it's the neutral safety interface for motor two, like in this boat, because we're hooking up the main motor and we have a kicker that's running off the eye troll, we would hook this to the yellow wire. Okay, well, we'll hook this all up and then we'll demonstrate on how the neutral safety interface actually works. Here's the live test of the neutral safety interface. So the first requirement on this test is to have the shifter in gear. And you can see the shifter of this boat to the left of the motor. We wrap the shaft of it with a red rope so it's easy to see. Second requirement is you have to have, to have the ITRO powered on so you can actually move the servo. So when the ITRO is trolling and you put the shifter in a neutral, go ahead, the ITRO automatically idle itself and go into an interlock mode where it will not respond to any input until the shifter is put back into gear. Go ahead. At this point, the ITRO will let you control the throttle again. This 100% safeguards the gearbox of the motor against being put into neutral and the ITRO being at throttle and then getting put back into gear, which can easily grenade the gearbox of a motor. Well, if it, you've passed this test, you've finished the installation of the neutral safety interface and hooking it up to the eye troll, and you're just about ready to go fishing.